Hey everyone, it is Reggie from Bougie Texas Barbecue, and I love making spare ribs. And I usually like buying big packs of spare ribs, but I'm telling you guys, these were the ugliest spare ribs I've ever bought. I did what I could to save them. So we're making one full rack of spare ribs, a half rack, and we're also going to make party ribs. Now stay tuned because I promise this video is not one you're going to want to miss, especially if you get an ugly pack of ribs. Remove the membrane if you prefer, or you can keep it intact, it really doesn't matter. I know there's a big debate about removing or keeping the membrane, I don't care, we're just going to remove them. That's just my preferred style. So if you are going to remove it, just grab one side and give it a good pull, and sometimes you have to do it twice. I'm leaving them on on the party ribs. Now it's time to season. Garlic powder, onion powder, some coarse black pepper, and the new Oklahoma Joe's Memphis barbecue rub. Put a good amount and then we're going to actually pat the seasonings into the rib and then we're going to mix the party ribs. Flip over and repeat. Today I'm choosing not to use a binder. You 100% can use a binder. I just prefer not to use any. Allow the seasonings to sit while our Tahoma 900 is heating up and then we can place them onto the smoker. So we're only going to add the rack of ribs first and we're actually going to save the party ribs for a little later. They usually only take about two to two and a half hours to cook. Now we're going to let the ribs do their thing, smoke them for two and a half hours at 250 degrees. After two and a half hours, we're going to go ahead and wrap our ribs. And as you can see, the bark is set. Letting the bark set is a crucial point before we wrap. I usually wrap after two to two and a half hours because I don't want to over smoke the ribs. Too much smoke will leave a bitter taste on your spare ribs. And for the wrap, we really just need butter, brown sugar, honey, some more of that Memphis seasoning. And we're also gonna make sure our ribs are face down. And now we're just gonna wrap them nice and tight. Okay, so now we're gonna set this half rack to the side. All right, again, so some butter, some brown sugar, some more of that Memphis seasoning, a good amount of honey, and our pretty, now Cinderella style spare ribs. I'm telling you guys, these were some ugly ribs. Again, for the back end, butter, some brown sugar, a good amount of that Memphis seasoning, and lots and lots of honey. Look at that drizzle. Last step is to wrap them nice and tight. Back onto the smoker for an additional hour, face down. But we're also gonna add our top rack so we can add our party ribs. These will also smoke uncovered for one hour. After one hour, as you can see, the bark has set on our party ribs. Now it's time to wrap. We are going to add them to a disposable pan with some butter, some brown sugar, honey, our favorite barbecue sauce, and of course, a little bit of that Memphis style rub. We're gonna make sure and wrap them nice and tight and place them back onto the smoker. So now it's time to unwrap our rack of ribs. They're not done quite yet. We are gonna make our full rack a sauce rib and we're gonna make our half rack a dry rib. So we're basically gonna have to uncover and flip the rib, but as you can see, they already have that pretty mahogany color. Please be careful, don't burn your fingers off during this step, but just get them nice and uncovered and we're gonna apply the boat method. I prefer the boat method. You can definitely just throw the rib back onto the smoker once you sauced and applied a little bit more of that dry rub. Okay, just a quick little sneak peek of the half rack. Look at that guys, that's the color we're always looking for. They are so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna add some of that dry rub, that dry Memphis rub, and we will place it back onto the smoker in a moment. And that's basically gonna dry up the bark and give the rib that dry look. Now for the sauced rib, 
I prefer my sauce nice, kind of thick and sticky. So we're gonna add some sauce, your favorite barbecue sauce, more of that Memphis dry rub, and then another coat of sauce on top. Place them back onto the smoker for one hour. Now I say one hour, but it can be a little bit longer depending on your rib if they stall a little late. So roughly one hour or until probe tender, then the rib is ready. Go ahead and pull that out. And as you can see guys, it has a very beautiful color. We're just gonna rest our ribs for about 20 minutes before slicing. And here we go guys, this is the final product. What do y'all think? I think they came out beautiful. Look at that beautiful mahogany color. I just can't get enough of it. Well anyways, let's check out our dry ribs. Let's see how they came out. I'm not the perfect slicer, so bear with me guys. I mean, I'm working on it, I promise. Now, they have a beautiful smoke ring, and I'll do a close-up in a minute, but the juices are just gushing out. They are so juicy, and the bark is so beautiful. Okay, let's get a closer look. Just a tiny baby squeeze, so juicy. All right, now it's time for our sauce ribs. This one came out just as juicy and the bark just as beautiful and it is sticky goodness guys. Just look at that. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope it helped anyone out there. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Till next time guys.